Hey everyone, the name is Victor and today I want to talk about growers in the world of MBTI and personality psychology. Now growers, those are people that have hit a new level of spiritual development. They have transcended their past belief systems and values and matured into more refined and complex value systems than before. Now a person that grows is a person that comes to reject things that they previously held to be true. That means while there were things in the past you believed in, you no longer believe in them. These things no longer apply to you. And growers often believe that they have changed type in the MTI system. In reality, the way I see it is we grow and our values develop as we grow older. That means the INFJ's basic value system will experience nine fundamental shifts throughout their life as they progress and mature and hit higher and more refined values and worldviews than they had in the past. I believe growers are a big problem for the MBTI because the MBTI often mixes up the question of personal growth with personality type. Often we come to believe that certain political systems or beliefs or worldviews are related to personality type when these things are often very different. There is a difference between the values and mindsets of a person who is very young in their life than a person that has lived for a very long time and has had a lot of positive and beneficial experiences. So. What I want to talk about is a completely new perspective on personality psychology. I am working on launching a whole new system that will test and measure our personal growth and development using inspiration from Maslow's hierarchy of needs and Graves' spiral dynamics. I believe that people progress through stages of development hitting increasingly refined belief systems and becoming increasingly authentic. And I believe that on the contrary, people do not become more difficult to type when they become older. They become more easy to type and more authentic. And I believe ultimately our personal journey, our hero's journey as we call it, is a journey of self-discovery and self-ascension. It is rising to and finding more unique and more better ways to be yourself. Fundamentally letting go of and realizing inauthentic and fake beliefs that you previously had. For example, I can see as an INFJ how a person can mature out of the clownish, you know, tribal mindset of us versus them to a more humanitarian mindset as they grow older. All personality types experience, you know, these radical shifts and they are shifts in which we have to combat and confront assumptions about our own personality type. While we might have thought that our addiction to work or to material things was a result of our personality type, in fact it might not be the case. In fact, the things we believe about our personality type might be incorrect stereotypes. So, what this means is we are and I am personally learning to see the difference between developed mindsets and belief frames and personality type and I can't believe that so few other people in typology have ventured into this topic. I can't believe that we are so stuck to these static personality descriptions. We write basically the same ENFP description no matter if we're writing, writing to a 5 year old or a 50 year old. and. Believe it or not, this is why a lot of old people, a lot of older ENFPs and INFJs and so on out there don't really relate to the personality descriptions they are given. We write for a certain age, and for a certain time, and for a certain place when we should be writing and learning to see personality in a more dynamic and nuanced manner. Now, if you're interested in this and if you want this content, if you want to try this personality test, leave me a link, like, and share this video. And of course, if you want to, I really appreciate uh, if you visit ericdor.com and read my other content on this topic. The test will be launched shortly and I think you're gonna love it. Thanks everyone for watching and see you all in the next video.